Hey guys, this is Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this infrared thermometer by Mecurate. This is the IRT600A. It says uh, accurate measures within reach. And it also says here all the different angles of the laser. It has also Celsius and Fahrenheit. And uh, let's check this out, guys. So this is it right here. It's very nice. Again, this is all the um, different lasers. It has about a six, uh, I believe it's like six different lasers. And um, it says 50, Celsius, 50 minus Celsius, 600 Celsius, uh, minus 58 Fahrenheit to 1,112 Fahrenheit. So I believe you can use this on food, uh, automotive, you know, different, different things. Um, it has three different button here, mode, Celsius and Fahrenheit, and I believe... Let's turn this on real quick. Okay, this is to turn on and off the laser. That little red triangle, that's the laser right there. So this is Celsius, and this is Fahrenheit. Okay, now it has a nice little trigger here. Just don't point this at nobody's face, guys. This is only to point it at different things. Like, I'm going to test this out on my engine real quick. I just want to see the temperature on my my engine right now and my catalytic converter. So this is a nice little thermometer, guys. And also, I believe you can use this on the transmission to check your transmission fluid. <clears throat> so down here, down here, it has a little, as you can see there, a little spot there. You can put your finger there and open it for the battery compartment. Let's see if I can do this. Hold on, guys. Let me try to do this with one hand. Nope. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I got it open. As you can see, this is the little compartment. It has two AAA batteries in here. Okay. Then you close this up. Just like that. So as soon as you press the trigger, it comes on. There you go, guys. So... Let's take a look also, and it turns off by itself after a few seconds, if you're not using it. Also, it comes with this uh, little thermometer here for food. Like if you're doing a barbecue, you're doing a steak or whatever, or a nice pork chop or ribs. You, you want to check the temperature of it. it. comes with this other nice little thermometer here. Press on. There you go. Fahrenheit and Celsius also, guys. And also max and minimum. And hold. There you go. So you just push this into the meat. And you check the temperature, guys. That's basically it. And it also has a little battery here. Like the little flat batteries. There's one in here. It's a nice, a nice uh, little thermometer also for like when you're cooking and stuff. This comes in handy when you're doing barbecues and stuff like that, guys. Or even in your house, if you're just cooking like a big steak or something and you just want to know the temperature, you want to get that uh, steak cooked the right way or medium rare or whatever, you can use that. So, let me show you real quick also. It has a uh, little manual that tells you more information about it and how to do the maintenance and stuff like that go okay emissivity and emissivity table okay these are the different things aluminum asbestos asphalt basalt brass brick carbon ceramic concrete copper dirt frozen food also you can check the frozen food temperature hot food glass plate ice 
iron, lead, limestone, oil, paint, paper, plastic, rubber, sand, skin, snow, steel, textile, water, and wood. Okay? So here we go, guys. This shows you how to use it. All the different modes, all the different features. So let's open this up, see what else is in here. It has different languages also. As you can see here, different languages. Okay. These are all the lasers. Okay. You see? It says high low temperature alarm function. Laser pointer auto power off. Power supply three uh two double two triple A batteries. Okay. So that's the laser right there, red laser point. Red laser point only position the general direction. The detection hole is the main parts. Under the laser pointer measure the temperature. There you go, guys. Okay, so let's check this out, guys. Let's open the hood and measure the, the temperature of the engine real quick. Oh, also, guys, um, let me see here. This, um, this is good also, you know, like if you're working on your AC on your car, like right now my AC's on, let me, um, let me put this here, I believe it's Celsius I gotta use. You can also check the temperature of your AC, just put this here in your vent. see here Let's see what it shows temperatures going down because I have my AC on my AC is super cold temperature from my AC 9.9 .9 Celsius 9.8 okay still going down 9.6 so it's fluctuating between 9.8 let's see so 9.8 Celsius that's how cold it is right now in my car. There you go. That's where it stays at 9.8. Okay? So that's another way to use it on your AC, guys. So now let's go to the engine and check out the other one. So I just turned it off. So let's check out this one now. You know what? Now that we're here, let's let's see if I can measure the uh So this would be Celsius. Ten point three. 
okay let's go now let's go now to the engine let's put this on Fahrenheit let me see something See if I can put this on zero. Well, I believe this is the you can put it at a certain high level. So let's put this real high, see what happens. Because I know my engine temperature is very hot. Okay, I believe that's the highest. So let's see. Fahrenheit. All right, let's go to the engine, see what happens. Alright guys, so let's take a quick uh, measuring of the engine to see how hot it is guys. As you can see the laser is pointing right there. And that's the temperature, 188.2 guys, Fahrenheit. So that's the temperature of the engine block. Right, but that's how you do it, guys. So overall, this is a nice little uh, thermometer, guys. Like I said, you can use it for various things: cooking, barbecues, engine, transmission. Very nice, guys. So that's all I got for you guys. So like, share, subscribe, and God bless, guys. And I want to give the guys at Mercury. A big shout out and a big thank you for sending me this thermometer guys. Take care.